727. Uh, let's uh, get right into it and jump into the KUAM News uh, Zoom room where we did some light sanitizing uh, there for you, Doc. Didn't really need to sanitize so much because it was the CNMI COVID free bubble. <laughs> uh, Doc, th- oh I just want to start by you finally saw our stay home commercial last night, right? Oh yeah, that's the first time I saw I saw that one. I tell you, it's uh, I laugh so much. Thank you for doing it. You should run it more. <laughs> okay, yeah, we should. Uh, maybe Monday we can take the day off, Brian. We'll just run the stay home commercial four hours. What do you think? <laughs> I super cut. Uh, Doc, uh, first, so funny. It's just really it, it hit home, so it's very good. Yeah, we've been very consistent with our message over here. Our message has consistently been stay home and wash your hands. So, um, keeping it simple, Doc. Wow, the virus. Um, we had uh, they went in. They did house to house testing yesterday. The numbers. I mean, I can't even wrap my head around it. The positivity mm-hmm. rate. Um, we've had a, a, a death yesterday, last night. Uh, we're anticipating another one being announced uh, today. Really? That's what oh, I heard. Man. Yeah. Uh, so not, yeah. not really doing so good, Doc. How serious are we at right now? You know, um, seriously, guys, this is probably uh, the most serious time that we have since March. Is um. <clears throat> Um, I think the number uh, speaks by for itself, and um, you know um, we are probably in the worst scenario at this point, uh, beside the time where we hit over a hundred. Um, uh, this is uh, sustained, you know, um, um, positive rate of you no know, twelve, thirteen, fourteen percent now for. Uh, um, at least for um, uh, seven weeks, and uh, lo- don't, doesn't look like it will slow down anytime soon. Uh, I really, um, the governor um, press conference yesterday with um, uh, Dr. Felix Cabrera present the number with with Dr. David present the number, and you can see as we we spoke in the past few weeks is that it's all starting the family, and. Yeah, you know, I just listened to you guys talk to Saipan, and I have to say, you know, um, they did very good uh, because um, everyone in Saipan is a frontliner, and they did very well in follow the executive order of staying home and not having a family gathering um, until our community in Guam follow the same guideline and and not protest the executive order of staying home and stop the f- uh, family gathering we will go down this road that no one want to be in and um it's going to get worse much worse if our family doesn't stay within themselves um and not have any interaction within one family to the next. You know, um, we still hear plan within the family to gather to celebrate birthday. I have no idea why people do that. You know, um, they still gathering the, in the backyard, um, you know, um, for different occasion and uh, we will get worse. And unfortunately, um, that's the way things will go if we don't but get Doc, the corporate. Having, having said that, that this is the worst and it's going to get more worse, yeah. why haven't we seen anything change? Why I are mean, we I doing the same said, thing? Yeah. You know, we we will recommend some, uh, some change, you know, I mean, um, the curfew that you just talked about in Saipan, you know, with the, the, the pack last night, we really want to recommend some curfew, um, uh, reduce some alcohol cell, you know, during certain time. Uh, and the biggest part that we will need to be somehow change the law is we got to find people. 
you know, um, giving warning now, I understand we're giving thousands of warning already. Uh, warning have no teeth. You know, um, I just got a warning. Who care? You know, nothing else um, hurt pocketbook more than, um, than than put a fine there. You know, that's uh, something that um, I'm not sure the legislature, uh, someone can, fun, can change the law, but, you know, the AG office or, or somebody, but give a lot of warning. I understand that several thousand for warning. For well, people gathering, you can do stuff, but, you know, it doesn't change people's behavior. And um, like I say, everybody in Guam is a frontliner. Now, I wish we can just do that for two to three weeks of, you know, uh, stay put, you know, go to work, go home, and not go to another family to, to gather or to celebrate or to mingle just for two to three weeks. And we will do very well to, to get out of this uh, high number, you know, um, because when it starts, no, 47% now from home, and the business jumped from eight to 15% because they carry from home, you know? So uh, it's, it's, all, it's all in the vicious cycle that start again from the family. The community number going down, so that's very good, you know, but again, the home situation, uh, uh, Sabrina, Chris, we got to push the education from home somewhere. And I, I'm not why, sure why people are so much again to stay home and not go to your family home to celebrate something. You know, well, we, we need everyone help. We got to get out of the cycle. I tell you, if not, um, Dr. Tupper and, and Dr. Davis is correct. I mean, we go, we're going to stay in this mode. The hospital go over, you know, triple digits soon. And um, the death rate will go up just because you kind of stress out the healthcare system so thin that um, the, um, the care um, will go down when you stress out so much, you know, and, and the healthcare worker uh, uh, will be exhausted to go through this thing. So, eh, I don't know. Um, everyone need to listen. Yeah, Doug, you talk so, about uh, mobility and just going around. The number of people on the road, I feel like it's a pre-COVID. And I haven't had that kind of traffic in so long that the other day I was on, on my way home and I was like, damn, what is up with all these cars? I forgot what it's like to be in a lot of traffic. And now it just seems like, and, and you can't really fault the community because the messaging is so mixed up. It's so mixed up. We're being told it's safer at home, yet you can pretty much do anything except go to a bar. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah. and when you allow our people to gather up to five, of course they're going to gather way more than five. So I think it also, also we just, we all, it's the leadership as well, Doc, and the, the messaging from uh, the government, it's been very inconsistent, if existent at all. And, and so, even when you hear, like, uh, what happened with McCrouts, uh, it was still, you know, they didn't shut him down. It was just, yeah. okay, you're, you, you know, been admonished. Yep. So. And I think that some, um, a uh, law that in the legislature now try to change that mm -hmm. to give the government more authority to shut down certain business uh, that um, that vi violate the executive order. I mean, uh, you know, um, just like this morning when you say, you know, Saipan don't have this factor that um, the fight um, executive order so much. And I, I'm not quite sure why people um, don't get the clue that um, what they do affect other people. You know, and like I say, I mean, we um, supposed to get better, not getting worse. Mm -hmm. and, um, and at this point, we just need everyone um, in the community to be in the same mm -hmm. uh, wavelength, the same thought. You know, I mean, um, and and we need to get out of here. You know, some people still think that this is a joke, and it's not a, oh, it's not the conspiracy or anything. Mm -hmm. No, this is real. Uh, this is real for the everyone in the globe. This is real, you know. So uh, we need 
um, again, you know, the, the key point here is that uh, we will ask for uh, some change you know, is, uh, that um, to the current situation and, you know, or I say alcohol, curfew, fine, those things need to be in place, you know, in order for us to curtail this thing. Mm -hmm. On top of that, the most important thing is people. You know, people have to um, be like inside him. I um, mean, um, they care about the community. They need to do that. Is there you anything, know? though, in the governor's emergency health powers uh, that she can, I don't know, do that that doesn't require uh, legislative action? You know, the, the governor, the, the legislature, um, they can do a lot of stuff, but mm -hmm. uh, Bria is basically it boils down to the people, right? Yeah. I mean, um, again, you know, everyone is a frontliner, everyone responsibility. And, you know, I mean, if you cram down any further, people will complain. But uh, again, you know, from, uh, I don't think the majority of people complain very much. The majority of them, you know, um, see the light, but there's a few people out there that outspoken to complain so much. But again, I think for our people, it's not to complain. It's just to understand uh, our current situation and just abide and stay home. That, that's that's a thing. So um, it just need people to listen and understand. I think that we should put a lot more education out there, a lot more number from, from public health. Uh, we continue to push that. So the more number people see, the more data people see, um, um, and you know, um, the, the number had to mean something. Uh, people understand that people will listen and people will stay home. I think we just need to put those numbers out there that, that make sense and not bear the number into a lot of wording. So, you know, when you look at it, you get it right away. Cause you no, know, I mean, to me, uh, it's too much writing and not enough number out there that, that people can see and understand better. Mm -hmm. can, can we talk about the rapid engagement team and uh, what happened yesterday? I know during the press conference, uh, Director Artson Augustine, he gave preliminary numbers. Uh, it was 29, I think out of 87 or 78 that were tested and or that turned positive, right? Do you have any new numbers from the... Uh, I think we're around 40%. Uh, that's very high. You know, um, um, you know, when you have 40% positive rate, you know, there's a huge you know, problem in the community. Um, so you know, the, the question is, you know, how do we handle uh, that 40% positivity rate? You know, what do we do? You know, that's... Um, that's something that I think that we have to wait for public health to give an answer to mm -hmm. see what do we do with the 40%? And do, we, do we take them out to the uh, isolation hotel or quarantine? Um, I don't think that keeping them, the positive at home in those situations uh, is, the, is, the, is the best answer because, you know, it's going to spread out and that tight-knit community um, uh, that's uh, are uh, underserved at this point. The, the living you know, facility is not the best. And uh, to me, you no, know, I would recommend to take the positive person out of the house and, mm -hmm. and ask them to be in the um, isolation facility uh, just to minimize the spread of the virus in that community. Right. But is there uh, enough space at the government isolation facility? Uh, I tell you, uh, I think we're a thousand hotel room in Guam. There's no tourists. Yeah. Uh, this is case where you need to contain the virus. So uh, I think that space is not an issue uh, to put people out for, for 10 days. Mm -hmm. You know, so um, it's, it's very important. But like I say, in, um, Director of Public Health, you know, Arsene Arsene, need to to um, give some more info. You no, know, I I don't know what, what their plan is. Well, oh, you know, so, um, so Public Health wasn't uh, didn't participate in the physicians advisory group meeting last night. No, no, no. They they have a very hard day yesterday. You know, okay. this, that's a I think the first um, 
they you know they go out there. I know they they met very 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 late. Um, the pack meeting is over now, you know, and they're still in the meeting, so we don't mm-hmm. have any input from public health, you mm-hmm. know. So they had to do the hot wash yesterday, plan for the action for today. So you know, um, we didn't have a chance to talk to them last night. So so what else did you guys talk about last night? Uh, what we're talking about was great. Um, first is that how to move forward, what we need, what else we need to do um, to kind of curtail this, you know, um, including, you know, do some PSA, um, approach the um, certain population, a, a different platform, different forum, because you know, um, those um, population, there's a certain subgroup that does not read the jig or listen to you guys or read the newspaper, you know, um, so we had to come up with different platforms for a certain population that, I don't know, billboard, you know, um, um, the handout, the passing out a lot of education that, that that's a certain subdivision, and we need to to kind of approach in a different way. You know, again, um, um, other stuff like curfew, fine, alcohol sale, all that stuff. Um, we try to to discuss about it to see what else we can do to get the number to go down. Because right now we, this is at eight weeks on this P core one, and the number are going up. And I say it's, um, it's very long to see the number go up every day. Uh, so uh, we have to do something else. You know, um, like I say, um, lockdown is, is <laughs> we don't want to do that. So yeah, that's, yeah. That, yeah, but Doc, you, know, you say you have said as you know recently as last week that the lockdown would be the only thing that would work. Yeah, but um, that's a man. That's a last scenario that everyone in the world was um would try to prevent. You know, we have to try the, the stuff and 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 ask the community, everyone, every person in this island to be cooperative and stay home and and do the right thing and we do that we don't have to do anything else different if people stay home and not mingle with each other family and then we be okay i'm telling you there's nothing fancy about this thing just ask people understand and um again um it's it's really you really, you can put a lot of things in place uh, and and limit people and, and and a lot of people complain. But the bottom line is those actions that don't need to be in place if everyone do the right thing. So again, the plea for the physical advisory group to the, to the people of Guam is to just like the commercial say, stay home. <laughs> You stay home and <laughs> and uh, don't plan for your your parents' birthday, man. I tell you, I lecture to my um, to my patient. That's the worst punishment you can give to your parents uh, to have a birthday party or celebration to your to in your family for your parents. You know, uh, if your parents get the COVID, they will be in the hospital by themselves, without any family. So family out there that plan for, to celebrate their parents' birthday or whatever, love your parents. Do that in the Zoom, but do not get family gathering to do that, because that's only one mistake. And that's something that you don't want to give to your parents. So again, uh, very, very important um, like I say, we really ask everyone to stay home. You got to say it like That's you're mad, though, Doc. You got to say it like you're mad. I can't yell like that for some reason. So, so. <laughs> but, uh, um, you know, uh, the side can did good, and we, we just need to follow them. Thank you, Doc. Okay. So, Thanks, um, Doc. Again, uh, um, guys, just um, we 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 will change the platform somehow. You know, uh, we will discuss that and, and and get to the subgroup. But the the rapid response team, the public health, the, the search and sell, 
and everyone did yesterday, uh, it's a much needed program that I should implement probably several weeks ago. But okay. it's never too late to start. Hmm. Doc, um, just uh, can you, can we, would it be safe for us to say just cancel basically Halloween? No, no trick or treating or any of that stuff. Yeah, I would. I would okay. not. I tell you from uh, Halloween coming up, Thanksgiving coming up, I tell you this year is a special year and we want to get to 2021 and get this curve to go down. I would say that everyone in community need to do that. Um, so typically, um, back at the height and Limits Hill, that's where the um, the Halloween celebration of most, most people go. Mm -hmm. I would ask those two subdivision, the Nimitz Hill and Paragata Height, not to do anything. You no, know, uh, we need your help, and I think those those homeowner on those two area really need to step up and 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 um, you know um, follow the executive order um, not to do that. Um, it's very very important. Thank you, Doc. Just for, just for one year. Yeah, just one year. 2020, yep. it's done. It's in the trash can. Let's just make it to January. Be safe. Wash your hands. Stay home. Unify yep. as one community. Thank you, Doc. You're welcome. All Be right. safe, okay? Yeah. Very subdued uh, this morning, <laughs> Doc. I, I, know, I know you got a lot on your mind, so... <laughs> Thank you. Um, and get some of, there's some virtual, what do we have this morning, Bree? Uh, virtual cinnamon rolls. Virtual cinnamon rolls. Okay. So Doc, I, I, you look like you work out, but grab you a virtual cinnamon roll. They're a low to no fat. Okay. Thank you, guys. Thank All you. Right, All right, care. Doc. Thanks, Doc. Okay. And uh, Greg, you know, leave some for our, the Archbishop. We'll take a really quick break and we're coming back with Archbishop Michael Burns.